welcome back to maybe the best Let's Play of all time. Party time. Party time Let's Plays. Best l Let's Play of all party time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only say the best Let's Play just because I really like how this is going so far. I really like Banjo-Kazooie. I really like you. I really like you. Thanks, man. Oh. Oh. Da -da 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 Gulp! <laughs> Alex, did we talk about what we got for Christmas? What? Just like, did we do like a recap of like our holiday? Because we're back from holiday now. Yeah. I think we did. Did we? I think we did. Remember I told everybody that I already knew what I got for Christmas because my mom like ordered it on my Amazon account? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, alright, never mind then. The thing that was annoying was that I had to go buy an entire hard drive for my Wii U. I didn't tell anyone what I got you for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know if I should. <laughs> you should. I should? I mean, like, Patrick, just, uh, Patrick should just show them the image. Yeah. Uh, next time you see Gerard at, like, some type of convention, he's got to wear this. Oh, my God. No one's going to get it. Everyone will get it. It's the thing we're most known for. I don't know what that even means. Show it, Patrick. <laughs> it's very not real. Brentilda. The Glinda of this game. Brentilda. Dude, her voice is not my favorite voice. <laughs> also, her song makes me feel like I'm, like, about to throw up candy. Um, hey man, not everyone could be all yeah. whimsical. Uh, she's not in Banjo Tooie, Brentilda, oh. uh, but she seems to have the same voice as Honey Bee from Banjo Tooie. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not supposed to go here yet. I and uh, she kind of gives you a warning uh, when you first meet her that her words will save them from a fiery fate, all her facts about Gruntilda. Yeah. In reference to Gr Grunty's Furnace Fun, the final boss of this game. Oh, interesting. Cool, right? Uh, she's the only one of the Winky Bunyan sisters who speaks outside of rhyme. <laughs> I forgot. Gruntilda Winky Bunyan? Yeah. Yeah. Her name's Winky Bunyan. Yeah, Gr Gruntilda has sisters <laughs> and they all speak in rhyme, but I think that there's something about they're all like self-conscious about speaking in rhyme around each other. Because I think there's something where, like, she stops talking in rhyme after they show up or something. Where are we going? I kind of forgot, but I think I found it. We're going uh, to Bubble and in, Swamp. In case we're, in case we're uh, forgetting, Gruntilda's other sisters are Mingella Winky Bunyan and Blabelda Winky Bunyan. <laughs> All awful names. An entire Holy. family of bad names. A little exploring voice. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Whoa, what's she doing in there? <laughs> Waiting to say hello, bro. Being real creepy in that hollow. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, 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 piranhas. Oh, 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 piranhas. Oh, piranhas. Piranha water, bro. Get out. So, I think I messed up already. We need to go activate the uh, puzzle for this area. I like don't know do, 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 what to do, do, do after do, those do. first two things because probably how many times have I started Banjo Kazooie? A and million. Stopped. Yeah. yeah. I'll just get like super into it one night when I'm like by myself all late and I'm just like I'm gonna play Banjo Kazooie, and then I'm like, well, I gotta start from the beginning. And then I fall asleep after like two hours. Classic Alex right there. You don't have that many notes, do you? No. Whoa. Maybe I don't. Maybe I haven't don't go here yet. Sorry, guys. It's been a while. I'm. I think we. Go, oh, we go here. I love that you hear her voice. It makes it seem like it's like a, like a Disneyland line. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> What did you say to me? There it is. Here we go. Oh. There it is. Clanker's Cavern. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Oh. 
God, <laughs> bottles. <that> Quika <coughs> voice. Quika boys. Oh, I hate Clinker's Cavern. Why? I just I don't like it. Clinker's Cavern and the other one. Hate? I really dislike them. They're tough. They're confusing. Um. So, there's not much trivia about Clanker's Canyon. Um, but it is speculated that Clanker's Cavern... Did I say canyon the first time? Yeah, Didn't I was mean gonna to. say. It's believed that Clanker's Cavern... <laughs> not canyon, Clanker's Cavern uh, was once Fungus Forest. Uh, because the room Clanker is in is much more organic, and Clanker looks more like a real shark in beta footage. Yeah. Um, and the entrance was believed to be the Click Clock Wood Portrait Room, and the portrait might have been at the Treasure Trove Cove Pirate Ship, or where Clanker's Cavern Portrait is now, which is directly across from it, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Clanker's Cavern. So I love the art. I will say I do love the art style in this level. It's very dark and scary. Um, and you kind of get that vibe later on in, in Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Tooie is a much more uh, scary game. Like creepy? Creepy, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? Um, it's a, it's a kind of sad. The Majora's Mask of uh, kind of banjo? not not nearly as as dark. Like totally it's, fucked up. Is it's that? definitely in the uh, in that weird zone. I feel that. So Clanker is uh, a garbage disposal. He's like a giant cyborg shark thing, but he has a blowhole for some reason, which I'm not. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what the logic is there. Uh, but uh -oh. he's the only character in the game, if you want some trivia, who doesn't talk at the speed. His sound effect doesn't move at the speed of everyone else's sound effect when he talks. His is, like, long. Oh, really? Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, everybody <clears throat> else is like, bro, 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 bro. But, yeah. like, his is like, yeah. Oh. And, yeah, I, I, I kind of went into it a little bit already, but it seems like at one point, during the creation of this game, Clanker was a regular living shark, and I'm not sure why they changed it. I'm Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker, not like dirty water, want fresh air. I don't know why they decided to make him into a big metal shark. Maybe they just thought it was cooler. So the first thing we need to do... It's creepy that he looks is, at you. ...is help him out. So what we're gonna do is go... Ugh, I hate that his blowhole, like, clenches. Go down here and help him out. You can help this boy. Best I can. Sick. Spooky ass music. I hear a Jinjo nearby. <laughs> Great air mechanism. Gloop. Loop the fish. <laughs> the idea of Jinjo's like being really patient while you're like struggling with like old timey controls is really funny. I'm not struggling. It's that the uh, it's definitely weird to. Uh, it's just because the water. It's game. just because the water physics are weird. Yeah. It's just it's funny him being like I'm just gonna wait right next to you while you try and actually touch me. <laughs> Like, if he was in danger, I might like, die right now. Oh, no. Why? Come on. I need air. Yeah, just catch up with Gloop. You got it. Oof. It's all good. All right, we're cool now. Should I go ahead and get these notes? And then we'll free, uh, we'll, we'll lengthen Clinker's chain so we can get some fresh water. So, Gloop the fish has a little bit of trivia. Gloop the fish has trivia, you guys. Some players believe that the fish found in Hailfire Peaks that is later given to Boggy may in fact be Gloop because of its striking resemblance to the bubble-blowing fish that's in the Banjo-Kazooie wiki. Another fact in the Banjo-Kazooie wiki about Gloop the fish is that he may be a reference to the next world, Bubble Gloop Swamp, 
as he makes a bubble, and his name is Gloop. Uh, and then the <laughs> third, the third fact is that the popular YouTube show, Game Grumps, made a joke about Gloop in which he has friends that only like him and invite him to parties because of his fart bubbles. Hey, Sean and Aaron and Danny. That that episode is called "Dude Gloop, Come Over." Uh, so that's immortalized forever in the Banjo Kazooie wiki. Luckily, when you run out of air, I don't think you die, but you start taking damage until you're dead. So luckily, we're in a safe zone. And there's plenty of honeycombs if you look out for that giant. I knew. I handled. Handled, dude. Handled. Handled like Handles Ice Cream located in Redondo Beach. Hashtag free ad, dudes. <laughs> Hashtag... <laughs> Like, what can I do to get you to send me some ice cream, please? <laughs> yeah, I can't eat that. Handle? Gotta, gotta stick to my diet. You're right, you're right. I shouldn't eat it either. Still doing, still doing well. Down that, that good 18 pounds. I gotta follow your example. The holidays Fitness were... Fitness bros are gonna come after you, man. The holidays were quite a test. I'm gonna get you on that. They're gonna get me? I'm gonna get you. Wait, are the fit, are the super fitness bros, like, two, like, we're, we're enforcers? Mob we're, we're mob men. Hey, Santel, speaking of ways, sorry to cut and interrupt. Uh, <laughs> speaking of Super Fitness Bros, what's the status on that DDR machine? The guys that are coming today? You guys, we're fixing our DDR machine. That's right, boss. DDR machine's getting fixed right now. They should be here by the end of the day. Thank you, guys. Thank you. But I'm still waiting for a phone call. Great. But they're, like, around. Great. Also, hey, 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 guys. What's up? Guys, office office manager Santel. Yeah. Couch, couch Fighters. Yeah, you guys should all go watch Super Couch Fighters when you're done with this. It's great. But I got to go fix the DDR machine. All right. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye. The best part about Beer Bros, guys, is that we just have so many people in the room watching us play. I'm not trying to pretend like we're not chilling in an office right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> We want to give you guys the full experience. I want it to feel like you're just sitting here in the room with us. That's why, like, it was so weird we didn't give Brizzy a microphone. I, or Zan. They yeah. just sat there and watched us play. And they, like, kind of talked to us. But that's the vibe. You got to feel like you're here with us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not about putting on airs. Yeah. It's about being hang, hang buds. About being the, it's about Air Bud, the movie. It's about Air Bud. Dude, you know that five puppies died during the filming of Snow Buddies? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. And you motherfuckers at home say we don't know trivia. Yeah. How about That's that? That's some trivia. How about that for some trivia? How the fuck some did that Some damn ha trivia. How did that ha fucking happen? Disney has so much money and they couldn't even, like, keep five puppies alive? They took, basically, they bought sick puppies, took them to the snow, and they died. Snow Buddies. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't. What? Hey guys, Michael again. Gerard's broken. He's literally <laughs> breaking in front of us. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna call the DDR doctor and then I'm calling the real doctor, okay? <laughs> the tagline for Snow Buddies. We took five sick puppies to the snow and watched him die. Snow buddies. That's what they did. <laughs> you just have such conviction. <laughs> You're just so committed. I just don't... About the truth. I just, you know... <laughs> I'm a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you know I'm not laughing at the idea of you being a journalist. I just, often do. I just... You're just- you're killing it right now! <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy needs some work done. This- this guy needs to see a real doctor. Alex the king of low-key. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> the blood of five dogs is on their hands. There's nothing funny about dead dogs, but I will this say this is pretty funny. It's just this instance. I can't believe that happened. Jesse's not laughing. I can hear Jesse, but he's not laughing with us. He's not laughing with us. He's laughing at us. I don't even think he's laughing at us. What do you have? Ten seconds to do? Uh, to get that those two boys over there. I messed up. We're starting over. 
<clears throat> I gotta drain the water and stuff. <laughs> we got distracted by those five dead dogs. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, now I'm now I'm feeling better from that laugh from that laugh fest. <laughs> uh no trigger warnings in front of the beard bros, guys. Oh. That's the way we live. Great. Oh no. Up there on the no, box. No no. On the box. Oh. Wahey. 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 Hey. I love this one because it's like a change direction kind of thing. What if the King of Red Lions is just like sick of you not paying attention to him? What? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He made Fraser laugh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Fraser's laugh is still never been heard on Beard Bros. I that's but, not possible. But one day you'll hear it. That's not possible. And it'll make you laugh. He had to Fraser's well, laugh makes people laugh because it's so it's so remember funny. Remember when we played fucking Mario uh 3D, like four player multiplayer oh, yeah. solved with Jimmy and Fraser? Yeah. He must have laughed in that episode. Because that we was didn't not. Play. Wait. Yeah, we did a little bit. In which ep which episode? Or was what it? was it? No, what, what, what was wasn't? it? Was it Mario 3D or was it Tiny Brains? Uh, Tiny Brains, I think. God damn. <laughs> but there was one where it was Jimmy and Fraser. Oh, was it? Were we just Samurai Gun? Were we just playing? I think we we're just doing Samurai Gun. Shoutouts to Bo. And samurai gun. Dude, Hyperlight Drifter, dude. Dude. It's getting real. It's coming in spring. Can't wait. I mean, I can't wait. I just... It's... I it, can't it's, wait. It's, it's an expression. I can't wait. It looks so tight. <laughs> I really am, like, more hyped for that game than I am about almost anything. Oh, shoot. You flew out of his gills. This might be a little bit of a longer episode. What do you mean? I'm just not, uh, doing a good job. Oh, hey, Jinjo. Not really doing a good job with the collection right now. It's a big level. It's Trying a water. Best. It's a water level. It's gonna take longer. That's the real long the short of this. That's truths right there. God, that sound is so like. Ugh. I feel like Joker's gonna come out and be like, Do you remember how I got these scars. <laughs> <laughs> A reference that's way too... Like, really new? Yeah, it's like, both references don't mix. Like, even the Xbox 360 version of the game was, like, already out the same year that that movie was out. <laughs> Alright, so I think we got most of the collectibles in here. Damn, that movie's almost ten years old. Oh, dude, don't... <laughs> we're getting old, man. Damn. Damn, man, we're old man bros. I remember going to see it. It's like... Do, do, Seven do, years do, old. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Eight years old now. Oh. You have to go jump on it from above. Right? I guess so. I'm trying to think where to go next. Uh, let's... Let's go up here. Go across the way. Damn, dude. I... I don't remember, like much of this game in like after those first two worlds. You'll remember more as we go on. This world is pretty- I know, I mean, I remember like things like this room or something like that, but I don't remember like everything. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield Biko. against the bad guys. Cool. cool, does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Hold the right or left trigger and push the right stick. Right, okay. And then keep the trigger held. I love that they changed the- this move requires the, like, gold feathers, and you can like, only carry ten of them. And stuff Here, take these five valuable gold feathers with you. There you go. You've learned all the moves in the stage. Great. Thanks, bottles. Peace. Peace out, bottles. Uh -huh. Why does Banjo have a shark tooth necklace? Did he kill a shark? Dude, maybe it's Snackers. You think that's why Snackers appears and disappears is because he's a ghost like, that Banjo oh. killed? We're getting in game theory territory. We fu 
is Snacker's tooth on Banjo's chest? <laughs> Such a weird way of putting it. I know. <laughs> I love you, Matt. <laughs> is Snacker's tooth on Banjo's chest? <laughs> they say that K is the funniest sound. The K sound. K? Yeah. That's why, like... Adam McKay. Well, like, if I'm like... If I'm like... <laughs> Sit down. If I'm like, I hope a sandwich gets stuck in your throat, that sounds pretty bad. But if I'm like, I hope you choke on a fork, it's like funnier. Because it has the K sound. Is it funnier? It just, I feel like I just, I'm more threatened in what, how, the way you I'm said going it. to kill you. Hilarious, right? <laughs> <laughs> the way you said it, yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah. You had, me, you had me convinced. Yeah. I was there with you. I just, I'm just, I, that's just something I've always heard is that the K sound is the funniest sounding sound to people, in general. Mine's like, uh, uh like the T, the O-R-T. Ort? Ort. Dude, let me tell you about the elites in Halo, you're gonna love those guys. <laughs> ort, ort, ort. Ort, ort, ort. No, like, the word orangutan? Ort. There's no, or, there's no O-R-T in there. I just made it up, it was Orangotang. Orangotang. <laughs> Orangotang. <laughs> That's what they should call Wango Tango every year, it's just Orango Tango. Orango Tango? I went to Wango Tango one time. Yeah? Yeah, have I, ever, have I never told this story on here? You might have. It's, I feel like you've said it. So, okay, so you remember there was that show on MTV that called was- Called Orango Tango? Yeah, no, 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 not Orango Tango. Uh, it was a show called- It was called Together? And okay. it was about a boy band called Together? Yeah. And one of the band members was Kevin Farley, Chris Farley's brother, and one another one of them was like a dude who was dying from what? a terminal disease, and he was like a Make a Wish kid. So he, his whole dream was to be in a boy band. Yeah, and they made him like on a like TV show about being on a boy band, and it's like a comedy show. It's a comedy show. It's like a funny show about being in a boy band, and then they put but, out like an album, and but, they. But one of the characters, a real man, has. Yeah. Is it, he was cast in the show as a Make-A-Wish, I believe. Unless I'm like completely off about that. Maybe he, maybe he was, maybe the character was the Make-A-Wish. But well, I don't think so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that. But, but so I went to Wango Tango one year, and they were sat in the audience like really close to us, and uh, they like gave us their seats after a while and left because they were getting mobbed. <laughs> They're like, you guys can have our seats. Yeah. They're getting mobbed, but now no one knows who they are. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was totally him. Yeah. So, have I told you, Alex, about Frazier? What? And, I, and I know who he is. No, like, I, I know, I, I know, I know you know who Frazier is. He's in the room. He's right next to me. No, I mean, did I tell you that he was on an MTV show? Uh, yeah. Oh, he's leaving. He's leaving. No. <laughs> yeah. What was the show? Oh, no. I, I heard made it. Fraser upset, you what guys. <laughs> okay. I heard we had it on TiVo. I, it's okay. The TiVo box. He's lying. Don't listen to him. <laughs> the TiVo box is still in the office. If anyone works at TiVo, I have this TiVo box. I can't, like, get it off. I'm trying to get figure out how to get this episode there cuz MTV they don't like back they don't like release seasons of their old shows um but uh the name of the show no no <laughs> the name of the show i think was called uh no was it oh uh, fuck what was it called i don't know it didn't happen it was Not like true. uh it was a, it's about it was the MTV dating show where your parents don't like your boyfriend and so they like try and pick out a new boyfriend for you. Yeah. And then you have to, uh, you have to, uh, like the girl then like the girl or guy then like goes on a date with the new boyfriend and like while the mom and dad basically let's play commentary of the date. Let's play or they like they like comment date. Well, is, is it like happening. is it like Saving Silverman where like they're in the ear? No, it's like they're like watching it. And they're they're like, just like roasting. They're you. like roasting the whole time. Great, um, great idea for a show. What was it called, Fraser? Some, I don't know what you're talking about. It's it's a real show. Really don't know it's a real about. show. Eliminate? No, it's like it's like it's not pranked, obviously. 
Fraser. No, you can't. You can't run from this, Fraser. We're having this conversation. <laughs> Parental control. Parental That's control. the name of the show. <laughs> That's the show. Parental control. <laughs> so Fraser, Fraser did this. Uh, Fraser, we we must have been freshmen in in, in college. Um, but oh my God, Fraser, no, you were sophomores. You were sophomores? <laughs> <laughs> He's accepted it. He's accepted the you fate. Know the, name, not the, the internet now knows. The internet knows. We gotta find Frey. Oh my God, you guys! So, Hashtag find Fraser. So, so yeah, in Frey. guys in this That's episode. Funny. It is, it's, it's all about this Evo. <laughs> I have yet. Oh my God! Why give it to me? No, I'm not give it. Give you it. need to give it to me. I'm not gonna give it to you. Fraser. Hashtag find us. <laughs> Fraser. <laughs> Fraser. It's got to You exist. need to give it to me, please. <laughs> I have been I have been trying for months to surprise you with me stealing it and showing it to the world. It is the best t like 20 minutes of Fraser I've ever seen. Cuz Fraser is like oh my god. Well, so, the whole point of those shows is that it's like totally rigged, right? Like Yeah, it's not real. It's like f f horribly I did not ruin your career. What are you talking about? What are you No, no, no. So Okay, so Aaron, so Frazier went on the show with his then girlfriend at the time, Aaron, um, and they totally were like in a relationship. Like the show clearly, oh, fuck, the show clearly was like not about them like trying to actually find her a new boyfriend. Uh, they just did it because like you know it helps build a resume for actors. Uh, I think her parents were actually on the show. Frazier was on the show, and Frazier was. It's great because Frazier is the nicest fucking guy I know. And he was the ex boy. He was like the evil ex boyfriend. You had to be like all like bratty and stuff. Yeah, that's so and good. So, and so they, the producers, they don't know <laughs> Frazier that well at all. And so they, they, they made, they made Frazier's like thing that like why Frazier's parents don't like, or why Aaron's parents don't like Frazier is that he swears too much. <laughs> And so, at one point, they have a clip of Frazier. <laughs> he's on the side of the road with Aaron, and he's just yelling at him he's in cars driving by. <laughs> and at one point, why are they there? At one point, Frazier says, "I can't you not?" He says, "Cock sucker fish." <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Michael again. So everyone is broken right now. There's not one person not broken in this room. It's pretty bad. So I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a bucket. I'm waiting for the DDR guy. And I'm waiting for Gerard's I'm waiting for Gerard's doctor. But I gotta get a I need to get a bucket to pick up all these fucking chuckles all over the ground. Hashtag fine Fraser. Hashtag cocksucker fish. He literally says cocksucker fish. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Michael here again. Frazier, can we do a line for line oh my reshoot god. of that episode <laughs> on oh Super my Scope? God. Can we just do that episode and we'll just recast oh. it? Just do a sequel to it. Just do the sequel? <laughs> we have to get all the players? Oh, Fraser, I'm sorry for embarrassing you. I just, it's like the, it's, it's <laughs> no, so it's, funny. It's not embarrassing, it's just the, uh, <laughs> the part of my past. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag find Fraser. The other, so the other quality they gave Fraser was they, they wanted him to be like egotistical. So they gave him the quality of the one man vote. So like, <laughs> so like Fraser, like literally like two Aaron's parent is like, uh, who thinks I'm awesome? And he like raises his hand. Oh my I do. god! Like stuff like that. Oh my god! And like the entire time, Fraser has to like basically let's play commentary. Just be a dickhead di all the time. Yeah, but it's, it's but it's just. Oh my god! It's the best 18 <laughs> minutes of my he life. He cusses too much. That's his thing. <laughs> Fraser cusses too what much. What were they doing on the side of the road? Like, how did they get that footage? <laughs> Hey, hey, girl. <laughs> <Why were> <laughs> <laughs> I bet you there's gonna be a lot of 
traffic by that park. <laughs> and you know how I hate cars. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Oh. Holy god. Part it's two, too, part two, part two of Clanker's Cavern next time yeah. on Beard Bros. Yeah, let me just finish up a little <laughs> bit. I don't want to. The thing about Clanker's Cavern is that I'm going to forget where we went, and I know we're going to be taking a break. Um, <laughs> oh my god, Fraser, you need, you need to give me that, please. That is so ridiculous. Please, Fraser. One. <laughs> I either that or I'm going to like literally break open. That <laughs> Fraser, you guys can't see, but Fraser is hiding himself. Go get those uh, notes in that tube. Oh, I might die right now. One sec. I need to get some. Fraser hung himself via Slenderman. <laughs> oh shit! He's, he's done. just he's done. He quit. He went the way of. Uh, I don't Rest know. in peace. Probably some embarrassing peace, actor Fraser. went down like that. <laughs> Cox, Wasn't there some actor who Cox died? Sucker fish. Wasn't there some actor oh, who died God. because of autoerotic asphyxiation? Uh, multiple people did. Somebody recently? Well, they said that Robin Williams did that, but it was actually revealed that he... He did it because he, uh, had dementia. Yeah. He had a real bad dementia, and he didn't want to, like, succumb to it, so he... But that's all speculation. I have no idea. Uh, no. I don't think it was Robin <clears throat> Williams. I think it was the guy who plays Bill. Yeah, that's, that's real. Kill Bill. Yeah. That's a real thing. So they found him like in a closet in like Vietnam. Like <laughs> in Nam? Or Thailand maybe. He's just in the Nam? Yeah, you know, maybe it was Thailand because I think one of the room one of the conspiracy theories was uh that he was killed by one of those uh ladyboy type people. Ladyboy? Like he, he like got into some kind of like rough sex thing with like a ladyboy and then he accidentally died and the ladyboy just like cut out, just like took out it's like, you know, didn't want to like deal with somebody di dying, so they like left. Wow. Went to, <laughs> sad, sad boys. We went back. We went back to a super dark place. <laughs> oh no. Oh, but what's more? There's no no more appropriate conversation for Clanker's Cavern. All right. Next time on Beard Bros. Clanker's let me, Cavern let Part me, Two. Let me get some air. You. <laughs> I need to get yeah. Oh god boy. damn, we went we went on a journey today. Oh my god. Alright. I guess we're gonna stop yeah, here. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Alright. <laughs> Bye. Later, man.